It's Money Week on CBS 2 News at 5, and today we're helping you beat the high cost of daycare. Some really important stuff. Some parents feel like they're working just to pay for child care, but CBS 2's Christine Lazar is here with some money saving advice. Christine? Pat and Paul, this is something we all can relate to as parents. It often feels like the spending just doesn't stop, from diapers all the way through college. But parents here in the Southland are getting savvy when it comes to saving money on child care. Okay, let's, let's do go fish then. From families and friends to nannies and neighbors, finding good, affordable childcare can be as challenging as soothing a colicky baby. And it's forcing parents to stray from the norms of nannies and daycares and start thinking outside the box. I've um, found that my ex-husband's girlfriend has been really helpful. Trisha Graup is a single mom with three beautiful daughters. How do you want your hair? Do you want it in pigtails or down? Mm -hmm. pigtails? She says that after her divorce, she felt as if she was simply working to pay for child care and needed to find another way. So she started a co-op with her ex-husband's girlfriend. This is what it is. We have children to raise. They're the most important thing. And if that means I'm going to get along with my ex-husband and his girlfriend. I'm going to do that. And so I actually think it's a great situation. Jacqueline Wynn lives with her two kids in the South Bay and says for her, it's all about networking the community. Whenever I get anywhere, I, I even in my child's class, you know, if there's a parent there, I say, oh, so where do you live? You know, how close are you to the school? I'm always thinking, what can we do to help each other? You just have to reach out and get to know other parents, your neighbors. According to a recent report by New America, the average cost of full-time daycare for kids up to four years old has reached $9,589 a year, passing the average cost of in-state college tuition, which runs about $9,000. The financial burden for families can be very, very difficult. Dr. Lindsay Heller, uh, aka the, the nanny family doctor, family. says another way people are cutting costs is nanny sharing, where two families come together and use one nanny. A family who wants 40 hours a week coverage can now pay really for 20 hours because they're splitting the cost. Now, because there's two babies, the rate will go be bumped up a little bit, but it's still a great deal for a family. For Jacqueline and Trisha, they're just going to keep doing whatever it takes to get the job done for their families. When it comes to teens, food is always great. Just fill your kitchen and say, go at it. Good child care is really hard to find, and when you find someone who's amazing, you need to hold on to them. Simone, is your homework in your bag? Mm -hmm. Another way to save, many employers offer flexible spending accounts to set money aside for child care. You can include up to $5,000 before taxes. Pat and Paul?